Good afternoon. This is Miles. I'm coming to you from my very own spa day. Yes, I said afternoon, and I am sitting here in the afternoon with my coffee and my bathrobe. Best part about a spa day is the robe. Now, I've never worn I've never had a robe before, but for some reason when I went home for Christmas, my mom had taken this robe. It used to belong to my little brother, and I was like, I'll take a robe. You just feel fancier in a robe, don't you? Just feel like I'm wearing a robe right now. So, robe is a very important part of your spa day. If you have a robe, do it up. If you don't have a robe, it's okay, but I'm telling you, it adds to experience. There's nothing like putting on a robe with no clothes underneath. That sounds kind of nasty, but it's true. Today's my day off, and I decided that today, since it's cold outside and slushy and the remnants of a NYC snow day, that I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna have a spa day. Uh, because we have just come out of the holidays, a time of eating whatever you want. Um, I'm someone who is gluten and dairy free and in order to be nice and also because I want to, I just eat whatever I want during the holidays. You know, someone brings you those cookies, those brownies, those cupcakes. You're like, oh, I'm gluten free. And then in a second, you're like shoving them down your throat and you're like, whatever, I'll eat them, it's the holidays. Well, because I did that for about two weeks. My stomach has been really mad at me. So this, today I decided on my made up spa day that I was gonna do a salt water cleanse. And if you don't know what that is, I'll tell you real quick. So you get yourself some fine salt crystals. You gotta get the real ones, not that iodine stuff, iodized stuff. <clears throat> you take two teaspoons of salt and you get two quarts of water and you mix it and you warm it and then you guzzle it first thing in the morning. Now, that sounds disgusting because guess what? It is disgusting. Sometimes it can make you a little nauseous. That's why you make sure you stand over a sink in case you have to spit it out, but try not to spit it out. Try to get it all down and try to, um, you have to do it first thing in the morning before you eat anything so that it literally creates a flush in your system. Now, once you get all that in, you wanna go lay down for about 30 minutes or so because it takes a little bit to kick in. It takes about 45 minutes, but, in about 10 or 15 minutes, you're gonna feel a little bubbly stuff in your stomach. It's gonna be gas, but you know what? Do not attend to those needs because you could probably gamble and lose. I'm not gonna say that I have done that before, but I'm also not gonna say that I haven't done that before, if you know what I mean. All right, so anyway, make sure you have like two or three hours that you can stay at home and be close to a bathroom because you're gonna need that. I won't go any further from there because you can use your imagination. Um, but on, on this spa day, I, li I like to do a salt water cleanse because I like to clean out my system and then I like to take my time. I like to drink my coffee. I like to, you know, write a little bit, watch a movie. And so on a day where you feel that you have time and you just really don't want to leave your house, turn it into like a little natural spa day. Take yourself a little time and, you know, sit down, have a salt water cleanse, go see a movie, do get yourself some nail polish, do a little mani-pedi for free. You don't have to spend money on a spa day, you just have to make sure you treat yourself like you would at a spa. You don't have to get a massage, I mean, it would be awesome to do that, but sometimes you don't have money for that. But you know what you do have money for? Salt. This costs $3, and it literally cleanse out your system within an hour. So anyway, enjoy your day. Remember to take a little time for yourself, and you too can turn an ordinary day into a spa day. <laughs> Go to the spa. Good day.